Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars, week four of January 2020. Um, we're later again this week, sorry, we had a super busy week this week. Um, it seems to have uh, followed the trend right away from the start of this year. Um, so it's Saturday, um, it's the afternoon. Um, what we're going to do is start off a little bit here with continuing on the theme of that we've done the engines last week, a bit of lightweight and weight reduction, we've done the wheels. I'm going to start off with a couple of different um, things here. I've got some scales lined up just to show you a couple of little ones how you can sort of look at you know reducing the weight of your car but making it look better at the same time. So the yeah, camera is going to zoom in a couple of bits. Um, First thing, we've got a um, tunnel top. If you've got an MK Indy Classic, this has been on, for, on the market for quite a while now, but we do like a, a carbon fibre top um, for your tunnel there. Um, we do it in GRP as well. Um, these are uh, available online, and I'm sure they're putting a link. But these are pretty light. If you was to have an alley top and trim, etc., and these come in, we'll put it on the scales. See what that comes up with live for you there. 844 kilos. Grams, even, sorry, grams. Look at that, kilos would be immense, wouldn't it? That'd be the heaviest car in the world. Um, and then we've just developed this one. This one's going out to uh, customer Nick. Um, this is the first one off the shelf that we've done. We've made the jigs and moulds for this. And this is for the bike engine cars now. So if you've got a bike engine in the R, not the classic, this is the classic. You can tell by the way it scoops up, this is much flatter. Um, this is for that. So if you've got a bike engine, it's the narrow tunnel top, and this comes in here. Do that in carbon now. So it's the first one that's going to go out to Nick this week, and that comes in, and you'll be happy to know, at 372 grams. So taking out all these alley or the interior trim, etc., A, it looks much nicer as a finished piece, one piece tunnel. And also, if you need access at any time, you've just got that piece to take out to get your prop shaft, checking it, all your joints, brake lines, fuel lines, if you want to do any servicing on it. So that's available. I'm sure they'll pop up link. There were they'll be coming out so it's fresh one off, off the market then we talk about um another little product here we've got which i'm sure the camera is zoom in if you've run in a ford base not a mazda based a ford base car this is a rear billet bearing carrier now there's a couple of different options if you've got pushing shafts and lab rows etc weight reduction is pushing shafts these um if you change from your standard bearing carriers we'll do a weight now on that you do need the addition of your caliper bracket because you can see that's missing which if you look at the standard one here camera and zoom in on that that's the standard one it's a bit it's a donor part which doesn't look as you can see nowhere near as pretty and nice anyway but they say there's a weight saving so we take the standard for one that has got the bearings in there as well see what that comes in at so that's 2.27 kilos and we take the billet one with the bearings in and the carrier which will hold your caliper So you're at 1.2 kilos a corner. Again, you're moving into unsprung weight, so it's even better. So, you know, there's a couple of kilos here, a couple of kilos there. And when you're fighting for, we've got a couple of customers who are fighting for grams sometimes when they've got sub 500 kilo cars. These are what will make all the difference. But also, it's much nicer product than if you're buying it brand new and you're building a new car, you don't have to go in and service this, paint it, powder coat it. You know, this comes and buy it off the shelf. Then we've got um, Nick for us, um, who runs our Facebook group. Um, he's got um, Tillit B6s in his. And we've got Nick to weigh his seats for him and see what they come out. So we'll do a comparison against our sort of standard GRP seat that we run. This is it here. It's a two-part seat. Uh, we've bonded in M8 fixings on the bottom. You've got four fixings to bolt in onto your seat runner. Or you can bolt it directly to your floor. Um, so... Nick weighed his, the B6 came in at just, well, it was 5.1, let's say 5 kilos rounding it up for his carbon B6s. And this seat, our standard one, comes in at, oh, I'm going to try and balance that. There we go. 2.8 kilos. So almost half the weight was that 2.2 kilo weight saving there. Just on, so if that's two seats, that's five kilos, you're ending it up, six, seven, eight, ten kilos of your car straight away, not, not a problem. You know, it's there and it's available. And it's, if you start off at the beginning when you're building your project, which a lot of them are, have these weight savings in mind, you haven't got to do it twice or buy it later on. You know, they're all available. And in fact, we've got seats on the shelf, we've got carbon top, tunnel tops on the shelf now, and billet bearing carriers in stock. So the uh, exhaust systems as well. All the weight saving this week, guys. <laughs> we do a couple of different options now. So these we have in stock. 
it's a stainless steel we do a two and a half inch uh inlet on these it's a rolled edge for a iva on this really nice tidy suit um it's fully repackable you see it's un screws on both ends with allen keys so you can repack it at any time um, and then we do a standard exhaust which again we do this one in a bright this is only available in polish this one is a, we can do in brush finish or we do in um, a polish type finish you can see there again two and a half inch outlets um, they're both similar in dimensions etc as well and we will just got finished welding on the bracket on this one here and i'll give you the weight on these so this is our standard one A little bit of weight saving on this we are looking at six point six point stay still six point i say six point three eight as we're rounding it up it's wobbling a bit and this one we've made it a touch lighter in the alley etc and the steel sorry the alley the steel on this so we've probably got just over 500 a half a kilo weight saving on the silencer so it's only tweaks and etc but these are all um, products that are available off the shelf where you can enhance your car make it look good but save weight at the same time and that's like adding horsepower so it's like free performance free horsepower it looks great and you save weight at the same time some new products there but it's not just about new products it's about weight savings about making your car consistent and, and what you want to do and building it and have fun doing it so we head out into the workshop, lots going on, busy, couple of kits to get ready to go out and chassis, so we head out there and show you what's going on. Right, we're out in the workshop, we are live, it's Saturday and the guys are working, so apologise uh, for the noise out there. Um, busy again, another chassis we produced this week, ready for the customer, another um, Mazda base car, so the RX5 chassis, another one going out. Um, got quite a few in production if you're trying to get in the queue we're running about eight weeks at the moment i reckon on lead times with what we've got um set up from christmas and, uh, and new year so yeah that's ready to go out we're just waiting for bodywork for a few other parts to come into that one so if you're looking to get in the queue get in there quick if you're looking at eight weeks you want to start building for the spring give us a shout what does that look like when it's done that looks like that dirty because we had a customer in yesterday test driving it but that's what that goes into that and you can build it in 16 weeks as joe did so still got time to get it on the road for the summer so uh yeah you, if you want to get the queue give us a shout you know where we are hook us up facebook messenger etc give us a shout it's there we're heading to the workshop see what's going on right we're on with the uh the k room uh, wow lotus 7 i keep calling it catering because it looks like one but it's a lotus 64 lovely little car that we spoke about that's been doing some refresh on it um we've done the clutch that's all in engines back in you can see it's all bled up coolant lines we had problems with the handbrake cable in the end we found brake shoes were worn out drums had to be redone um all in, as we've gone through the car unfortunately little niggly bits which was uh, frustrating but yeah we'll, uh, we'll see if she'll fire up actually um little pre cross flow engine we spoke about um on here Well, I love a set of carbs, didn't you? Couple of 45s on there. Awesome the car. The car's running great now. They say clutch was sorted out. We had to fit a new brake cylinder as well. That was um, that was binding up as well. So um, yeah, happy with that. Suzy's all back together. Um, got a few little uh, few wiring problems we're sorting out now, and we'll we'll get that now and hopefully out to uh, uh, back to customer Simon very shortly. Right, this is a second of our demo cars we've sort of been building. The booster one we showed you last week that's buttoned up now, um, going in for IVA next month. So if you're looking for a booster car, and then we've got a Mazda car here. We actually had a um, demonstrator built, uh, well, the college, uh, Colchester Institute built a car. Um, we said that was up for sale. That actually got sold yesterday. Um, and this one's going to be on the market very shortly. It's a standard RX-5, uh, but we've got the wide arches on this one. So the 50 mil extra wide ones. Um, Pro Race 1.2s. Um, we've um, well, we've got R888Rs all round, 205s on the rear, 185s on the front. Um, stock engine, so 140 horsepower roughly, uh, Mazda engine, where we've cleaned it all up, detailed it a bit, etc., serviced it. Um, all standard Mazda running gear, um, clocks, um, all the handbrakes, etc., in now, steering, our new little badges that we have made up, standard harnesses, all branded up, seats, interior kept it simple white and black you can put your stamp on this car now graphics etc it's all ready to go just the boot cover in um 
it's an open diff on this one but and then we've got clear lens pack on this as well um so this is pretty much battened up we've just applied for iva because a couple of bits that we've we've done yesterday we've put the exhaust system on with a cat on there the standard exhaust system we do that links onto the mazda um and then again if you want to upgrade it to a turbo we've actually on this car i've already put in the um return from the turbo so it's in there so if someone wants to turbo this they don't have to do all the sump mod we've done that as a demo car and then again you don't have to make any new holes all the turbo link pipes and everything else button up back onto that so we've got a lid to put in here the nose cone and everything else is over here bonnet that's all done so a few bits of buttoning up and then we've applied for iva so this will be on the market as well um so again hook us up facebook messenger you know email give us a call if you're looking for a mazda car to get on the road um, we can talk details with you so that's been good happy with that and then we'll move on to another car back on with uh, the honda car now the honda s2001 um dave's installed in here putting the billet um pedal box in here which is tight as tight can be because we had the uh um, curved um tunnel part in in this particular one on the indy classic chassis um all the uh, we're going omex on this so all the management and loom's been ordered up on that prop shaft's been done modified it's a bit of a mess in here but um prop shaft been we showed you the other week that's been modified ready to go in so we're just finishing them finished parts on this for the pedal box manifold just the last bits the button up the engine comes out and inches in so dave's doing this today real tricky job bit of a bit of a hard job to bolt in a, a, a pedal box afterwards um if you're doing it if you're looking to build cars it's way easier to do this than uh, cutting out everything and refabricating for bracketry and everything else as dave will probably shake his head and confirm um so you're on with that we're back on with the project here because we was waiting for some parts and bits on that and that's going to continue and we'll show you the progress on that so another chassis under this cover that was last week as well um still a couple of little bits to, to go with that and then we're on so that's where we're at um uh, I don't know the week the month is gone quick hasn't it guys you know christmas seems so distant now we're into the heading into the last week next week of the month um we're really busy um if you're looking to do anything like flat floors and corner waiting and that get booked up i think february you've got one slot left so possibly if you're looking at um, getting that done if you're looking for chassis or a car and you want to get in for summer we've got a couple for sales you know there and we're about eight weeks on our lead time where we are so that's where we're at um we'll give you a shout out but again next week and uh, have a good weekend guys thanks for watching like share you know where we are catch you then